What is going on guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to episode number one of my free to play Road to Glory on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. And I'm pretty sure it's the first time I've done this in a couple of years now. Most time I don't tend to stick with it because it's not my main account, but the difference this year, it's my main account, no FIFA points, and I'm looking forward to getting started. And I'm of course playing EA Access on Xbox One. Um, at the time of recording this commentary right now, for some reason the web app is not up just yet. But I'm just very, very close now if those play on PS4 or that EA Access. So just before we get started, if you enjoy this video and looking forward to watching the road to glory, make sure to show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome, greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more and press the bell notification next to it so you don't miss a video. And finally, in the comment section below, if you have any tips or tricks about starting a road to glory, how to earn coins or whatnot, let me know down below as well. So the very first thing I'll be seeing is going to a starter pack and a starter team, uh, which contains Daniel Sturridge. As a Liverpool fan, I'm not disheartened about that whatsoever. Has got four star skill moves, two star weak fit isn't great at all. A uh, heavy left third for him. Has now only got 75 pace, so nowhere near as quick as he used to be. That's actually the same as real life as well. Uh, I've got John Joe Shelby in there, and a high point to Jamal Lascelles at centre back. So some chemistry is definitely working on. Um, I think we can get close to 100 chem. I'm not too certain, but for the starter pack, of course I'll upgrade this, it won't really take too long, play a few squad battles, do some challenges, and on top of that some SBCs. So as we go through this in the background, what we're going to talk about now is the topics for this episode, what we're going to show, and the potential plans for this Road to Glory in general. So in the background, we've got the starter team, we've got the reward packs for logging in and playing FIFA 18, and I've played a lot of FIFA 18 to be fair, so hopefully, fingers crossed, those packs can like pay out and hopefully get us some coins. And I'm going to show you the catalogue as well, because that apparently, again, I'm kind of new to Road to Glories myself, but it seems to be pretty damn huge at the start. And there's some lone players, a lone option, Suarez, Lewandowski, and Aguero, Falcao, Griezmann, and I was thinking about Suarez because of course it's Luis Suarez, why wouldn't I? But for Aguero, he fits in the team, gets chemistry, and it's a four game loan. So compared to the two for Suarez, I think it's kind of logical. And now we have got the kit selection. Everyone gets this when you log into your foot account, you get a free home away kit, and on top of that, a, a badge. And the kit, I was gonna go Legia of Warsaw because I actually really like it, but the Schalke green and blue, that's a pretty damn sick kit. So whether that's a home shirt and the away one, it wasn't really as good options. I mean, Bishik has definitely is the nicest, so clearly we go with that one. And the badge we choose is going to be Red Bull Leipzig. So the kits and the badge out of the way. Now, the thing I want to talk about is what team we're going to use from the very start or aim for at uh, the leagues and nations. And I've got a three in mind. Uh, so the one we're basing off, as you see there, is mainly English slash Prem, but overall, that's not really my main priority. The one I'm looking at, the two in particular, are a French national team and on top of that, a Bundesliga, because Bundesliga has got so many good start players. The same applies to French, really. They've got Condogbia, uh, Mukiele at centre back, Uber Meccano, and those two centre backs, Uber Meccano and Mukiele from Leipzig, they could both be part of the Bundesliga side and French. But they're what I'd call a shorter term target. It's like a week's time. Hopefully I have like two starter teams. One is a starter and the other one is a fitness squad. Because the one we play on weekend league, when we restructure 30 games a week, uh, much better rewards. Instead of monthly rewards now, we do have ourselves like weekly picks, which I think is fantastic. And hopefully it's a, a much more positive time for foot champs. As the last like two years it's been on, I played until about November, then gave up because you know what, 40 games is far too stressful for me. And some of a longer term target for me, like in the first month or so, I want to try and get Kylian Mbappe in my team because he's got five star skill moves this year. Looks like an incredible card of 96 pace. I think it's an 8 cent rate as well. Uh, it'll be expensive, like a very expensive player, but hopefully if we could build our coins through foot champs, um, through squad battles, through trading, Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get there at some point. We have got reward packs in the background. The very first one um, was a regular gold pack, I believe, which brought us Bad Stuber, and to be honest, won't ever really plan to use him. The second pack gets us Javier Pastore, now at Roma, ace 2 rate with 69 pace, 75 shot, and 83, uh, I think it's 84 dribbling, 83 passing. Again, I don't really plan to use him, so maybe I'll wait a few days and sell him on. Also get Montoya, and uh, I think it's Serie DA, and another player. But overall, it's not a great pack, nothing too spectacular. But now, we have the all-players packs, and hopefully again in one of these, we get someone we can use, and potentially put our squad from the very get-go. 
And the player that pops up in this one is going to be Croatian centre back. It's not Lovren, it's in fact Vida from Besiktas. He's 80 rated, got some very good pace about with 76. Good defending 82, 78 physical. And I imagine some people, even a lot of people, might go to the Turkish league as a starter team. So maybe can sell him for a little bit, as he's definitely one of the most overpowered centre backs in that particular league. The rest of the players, we have got Fernando uh, from Spartak, Thomas at centre back, and the rest is pre average. Now we're going to the second all players pack, and the player that does pop up is going to be. Of course, they've changed the animation now from the uh, the previous time we saw it. The players of gold, obviously, is going to be a striker from West Ham. It's not Andy Carroll. Even better, it's Mikel Antonio. His car stats aren't as good as last year. I'm pretty sure it's a pace downgrade there. It has to go four star skimmers with him and a good physical and pace. So 83 pace isn't bad at all. 79 physical, maybe. I think this time last year is going for like 10k potentially. Probably five or six k this year. I'll take that. The second to last pack then, again, another all players pack of one gold rare or one rare total. And the player does pop up. Um, I'm hoping for something that has some value, but unfortunately it's Lecky who plays for Hertha Blin. Although, I was saying before, I do want a Bundesliga side along the line in the first week to get as like a fitness team. And he does fit in that because he has got pace about him at 90. I think he's got four star week with three star skill moves. I probably preferably prefer to be the other way around kind of thing. Uh, four star skill is three star week for. But a player there, Ryan Fraser, he's 75 rated non rare, but right now is in the current team of the week one. So technically he's a rare player. Um, might be worth a little bit more than he would be if he wasn't an informed card. Um, but yeah, he's not informed there. I doubt a patch is informed anyway. And the final pack we do get is going to be Mitrovic from Fulham, uh, signed from Newcastle in the summer. And honestly, again, I keep saying this over and over, but he's a player I have no intention to use at the very start, but he's a prem gold striker. So despite him being a very slow player, 57 pace, someone may try and buy him, especially even a Fulham fan, or could be used for SBCs. But here's a massive part of Road to Glories I'm personally not really too familiar with, uh, because again, normally I'm paid to win. But it's the catalog. You have got a coin boost in here, loan players, a lot of loan players, in fact, including Messi and Ronaldo and Neymar. Um, and there's a transfer list space. But the coin bonuses is make sure to buy the biggest ones first. So the, I think it's a thousand coins times 15 matches, and then go down to the smaller ones. And the reason I say is because if you get a thousand coins per game at the very, very start, especially the web apps like just coming out, you can potentially get some bargains on the web app on the market in comparison to if you're playing like 10 matches and getting 200 coins to 10 matches, a thousand coins, obviously you get a lot more coins for the very, very start of the game. But now we go to some SBCs, the very, very simple ones, uh, submitting some bronze players here and there, and hopefully getting quite lucky in the rewards because I think these ones, for example, um, let's get started, it's like three or four bronze packs, which won't be benefit fit us whatsoever but the second lot like you have to do these ones to unlock the further SBCs. So four random bronze players does get ourselves a, a bronze players pack which we then recycle into more SBCs. But let's get started again. It's the basic ones get all done and dusted. The second lot I think is called let's move forward. That gives us better packs on top of that some player picks like the centre mid striker, uh, centre back and goalkeeper, potentially put on a prem team or start a Bundesliga side or even on top of the French team. So it is bronze packs again, but the last ones that I think is a two player pack, essentially what you get from a gold upgrade. And uh, the player does pop up, but luckily for us, is some of the potential could go into our team. So obviously the, the pack animation is quite long, but it's a non rare Petr Cech, 80 rated this year, minus four from last year because 86 rated. Um, obviously won't be the best goalkeeper in the game, I'm not saying that, but at the very start, a lot of goalkeepers might be overpriced, whereas him, I believe they're untradeable. And now we have got the ones for the player pick. So that one was for, uh, what was it for? Uh, I think it's a centre back. Okay, then we've got three more players. It's basically submit three defenders, submit three midfielders, and submit three attackers. And the overall reward is going to be a goalkeeper. The three attackers, I won't be using any of them whatsoever. Essentially, all from either the starter team or the raw packs. And there's a complete SBC done, all three of them. It's very, very simple. I'm pretty sure everyone can do it from the very get go, again, from their starter packs. And here it is, so gold untradeable goalkeeper, our very first experience with player picks, I had no idea what to expect. Like they basically come up as packs, so you press A on there and you get the five players to choose from. We had Hernandez, uh, Simeone, Remy, Stuani, and also Pettersson. 
Pedersen would be in a Bundesliga side, but a very slow striker. Um, so I play it kind of safe with Javier Hernandez, 7 out rated this year, only 73 pace. Then we have got the centre midfielders, and I'm not sure if it goes up to a certain rating, but instantly, obviously Aaron Moy goes to a Prem team, but Sanson, four star skill, he's four star weak for every single stat above 73. That's a fantastic player, especially for starter teams. That's why I'm going to choose him over everyone. It's the next batch of players we have got are centre backs, and we already have got, um, actually, I can't remember who, oh, we've got Lascelles at the back. But now we have also got Lindelof from Manchester United. 72 pace, and despite having quite a poor season last year, his stats, they aren't bad at all. I didn't notice a downgrade there on, uh, what's his name, Perrin or Perron from St Etienne. The far set of players we have got are going to be goalkeepers, and the fact we already have got ourselves um, a Petr Cech ace 2 rated untradeable, Ben Foss doesn't really matter too much. But those four players for essentially submitting, I think there's 12 bronze cards, it's not bad value really. But that, guys, is going to be it for episode number one of the Road to Glory. And uh, overall, I think we went quite successful because we got our start team kind of planned out. I opened our reward packs. They weren't really too fantastic, but Mikel Antonio gets a few thousand coins on the line. Um, done some SBCs, started on the objectives. And tomorrow's episode, it'll probably be like highest from the squad battles. And I'm not too sure what else. Like maybe some trading and try and improve our squad a little bit. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like rating. It'd be absolutely awesome, greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more and press the bell notifications next to it so you don't miss a video. And in the comment section below, if you have any tips or tricks for Road to Glories, let me know. And if you have any questions for tomorrow's episode, feel free to ask me. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.